We live in a world where many things are happening every day. There is no such day like that is normal, but each day and every moment is special for all of us. We have joyful moments, but also sorrow and painful experiences because there are many problems that we are facing every day. What do you do when you are confronted with difficulty or hardship? We could suffer from physical illness, relational brokenness, or psychological issues. How could we overcome these things? How could we get a healing process when we heard from those issues? In today's story in the scripture, we see a man named Naaman who are facing a trial. He's a commander of the army of the King Aaron which means he could control and give order to his soldiers and servants. But he has a skin problem, leprosy, that he couldn't control it by himself at all. He has fame, wealth, authority as well. But they're useless at this moment. He has a beautiful name, Naaman, which means pleasant, delightful, but now he is not happy, nor delightful. His life is miserable. Now a little servant girl who came from Israel lived in uh, Naaman's house. She is nothing but a little girl, but has a great faith in God. This little girl dares to advise General Naaman, saying that if he goes to Israel, God could cure him through the prophet Elisha. He could ignore her because of her social status in those days. Surprisingly, however, Naaman listens to her tenderness because he desperately wants to be healed, whatever it costs. So he decides to go to Israel to see the prophet Elisha, even though he does not know God. When we are faced with problems, we often try to solve them by ourselves. A lot of times, we don't want to listen any voices coming from others. Because we think that we know ourselves better than anyone else. Through we be, you know, even though we believe in God, our faith does not work because hardship blocks us to see God and listen to God's voice. The action of this little servant girl shows us that God uses people around us when we seek help in a difficult situ situation. It could be one of your family members or friends. It could be a person that you don't want to talk to. It could be someone that you do not know very well. But God's way of healing our wounds and pain is beyond our own way. Now the commander, Naaman, takes his first step to the healing process. He goes to Israel to see the prophet Elisha, expecting that the prophet comes out of the door and anoints him with his hands to cure him. However, when he arrives at the door of the prophet Elisha's house, just a servant comes out and says that, go to the river of Jordan and wash yourself seven times. Naaman gets very upset about it. But Elisha does not show any respect of him who is so famous in high status in Aaron. He even commanded him to soak his whole body into the muddy water of Jordan River. He complains and wants to refuse Elisha's weird treatment. This time, Naaman's own servant encourages him to do so. The little servant girl's great faith in God of Israel is now about to introduce to the whole family of Naaman. Naaman just follows the instruction by starting to soak his body in the muddy and dirty Jordan River. Then what happened? When he starts to dip in his body in Jordan River once, he does not see or feel any change on his skin. However, as he keeps trying to do it with patience, 
a miracle happen. When he comes out of Jordan River after washing his body seven times, his skin begins to be restored. And got even better. As the scripture says that it became like that of a young boy. Amen. Amen. You might have a question here. Why did God ask Naaman to wash his body seven times? If God wants him to experience the power of God, God could cure him at once. However, God didn't. This is a secret. When we are in a physical problem, financial you know, crisis, or any difficulties, we desperately want something miraculous moment happening. Like one time remedy or one big jackpot. Yes. <laughs> so we pray for that without patience. But God wants us to be patient when we are in God's healing process. Patience is a part of God's healing process. It takes time and energy until God finds the perfect timing for us. Our great God knows us better than us. And God knows a perfect moment to heal and solve all our problems for the best result. To make this happen, what we need at first is to take an action of faith on our own, like Naaman listened to the little servant girl. Without his action of faith, he could never experience the power of God or healing. God loves us so much and uses our problems to find the ways to come close to God. J. Hampton Catley said in his article about that Naaman's leprosy could represent the sins of our lives. As Naaman could not cure his leprosy without faith in God, all of us need Christ who forgives our sins every day. All the troubles, hardships, pain, suffering are not coming to us to make our lives miserable. But rather, those problems come to our lives to see God in a better way and help us to seek God who loves us all the time and takes care of us better than anyone. Naaman, who was wealthy, famous, and had power, could not meet God without his leprosy. Through his hardship, he had a chance to see and believe who God is. And it changed his entire life as he became a faithful man of God. Therefore, do not worry or become plunged in despair. God is giving us another chance to seek Him and meet Him through our hardship. We should always remember that God is with us all the time and make the way to get through in the moment we cannot find any path. I would like to finish my sermon by sharing a short story I love. There was a man who was walking on the desert. He could see four of the steps all the time on the desert when he looked back the way he walked. Two were his, other two were God's. When he faced with terrible hardship, he also walked on the desert and looked back. This time, he could see only two of the steps. He got so upset and complained to God about the footsteps. Lord, why do you let me walk by myself when I'm in hardship? Why are you walking with me all the time? Do you know what God said? God answered, Those two footsteps you could see are not yours, but mine. I was walking by carrying you. Like this story tells us, our God, who is so graceful, 
never let us walk alone. But always with us and helps us so we can overcome all the hardship. I pray that you could live this week's life by experiencing God's healing process. By taking action of faith every day. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. Gracious and mighty God, who knows our wounds, we believe that you are healing us in your way. And let us trust in you no matter what. And truly lean on you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.